Is it fair and just that Sharia marriages are not recognized in either the Marriage Act or the Divorce Act? Hi, I'm Simon Dipinoff and I'm a lawyer. In 2005, when the Constitutional Court ruled that same-sex marriages should have the same rights, responsibilities and legal consequences as any other civil marriage or union, customary marriages also gained full recognition. Muslim and Hindu marriages, however, did not as they are not governed by civil law. The Women's Legal Center Trust took on the state as long ago as 2014 and in 2018 the state was found to have failed its constitutional duties to recognize, respect and protect the rights of women in Muslim marriages. At that time the court ruled that legislation recognizing Muslim marriages must be introduced within 24 months, which would have been September this year. The case was appealed and cross-appealed and finally on 18 December the Supreme Court of Appeal ruled that the Marriage Act and Divorce Act are inconsistent with the Constitution. The Supreme Court of Appeal has given the President and the Cabinet together with Parliament another 24 months to remedy the defects by either amending existing legislation or passing new legislation. Muslim marriages must be recognized as valid marriages. In the introduction to the judgment, the presiding judge wrote, Muslim marriages have never been recognized nor regulated by South African law as valid marriages despite 26 years of a democratic constitutional dispensation that is founded entirely on the values of human dignity, the achievement of equality and the advancement of human rights and freedoms. Muslim women and their children have been particularly disadvantaged by this oversight in the law, being denied the protection of intestacy laws in the events of death and suffering many other injustices if the marriage was dissolved. Now, children from Muslim marriages are entitled to the same rights and protection as children from other marriages. The judgment states, it is declared that section 73 of the Divorce Act is inconsistent with subsections 9, 10 and 34 of the Constitution insofar as it fails to provide for the redistribution of assets on the dissolution of a Muslim marriage and such redistribution would be just." Unquote. It goes on to cite other inconsistencies. The judgment extends to 37 pages, but the upshot is that under the new law, Muslim marriages will be treated as marriages out of community of property unless there is an agreement to the contrary and all the provisions of the Divorce Act will apply. This is slightly different from conventional civil law where marriages are in community of property by default and an anti-nuptial contract is necessary if the couple wishes to marry out of community of property. The law will also apply in the case of a husband who is a spouse in more than one Muslim marriage, depending on the agreement entered into between the spouses. When the new laws come into effect, the changes will be published and widely announced. I'll also share the information on my website and social media channels. If you have any questions about the status of your marriage during this interim period, you can give me a call on 086 099 5146.